Hello folks, I'm Shibuya. Welcome back to another video. So do you found one of this in your gameplay? I'm not sure what to do with it. Let me show you what you can do with that. So this is my natural gas setup. On top I added an unlimited storage for the gas. Um, the way it works is by having the vent not over pressured. That's why I added 15 kilos of liquid here. Um, 15 kgs is because the vent over pressures at 20. As you can see here, over pressures at 20. So the liquid I keep it 15 kilos rather than 19 because sometimes um, it bugs out. The water evaporates or something like that, it just goes missing. So just leave it at 15 or lower, but not too low. This system takes care of the polluted water and CO2 since the generator, uh, the generator produces polluted water and carbon dioxide as a byproduct. That's why I added a schema and a water sieve. The way it works is by pumping in polluted water to the sieve and then run it through the schema. Since the schema only takes normal water rather than polluted water, and if that's extras, um, the water will pass down here and you can link this to anywhere in your base, maybe your water storage or something like that. It's a simple setup. Okay, for the shipping automation over here, it's just for the input of sun so that your dupes doesn't need to come in and out frequently. So you can link this to your base. Anywhere that's sun, I put it here just so um, you can see easier. So the sun will be stored here on the conveyor receptacle and it will pick up by auto sweeper and put it in the sieve. The sieve will produce polluted dirt, and that's why I have another loader over here to pick up the polluted dirt. And organic rooted dirt and this one you can link it back to your base or your storage area or anywhere you chuck it in and there you go nothing much for automation wise it's a simple setup to your battery you don't even need the battery over here um, you can link it to your base as well your main line if you have linked uh, a main power source maybe you can just link it in your batteries over there and this pump is linked to a hydro sensor and you can put this low but not too high because at one point the CO2 will be too high it will over pressure this vent remember this is 20 kilos but if let's say you use a normal gas vent it over pressures at 2 kilos just keep that in mind you can maybe put like a sensor um, what do you call that an atmo sensor over here like maybe 1.5 kilos if it hits 1.5 kilos you can run this pump and pump it in and run this skimmer as well just be wary of that well that's it for my setup uh, oh yeah the setup produces around 3800 watts of power and it's basically almost like no maintenance except for this you, the dupes need to uh, refill the sun once in a while
Hey, I got something, something to say I'm just so sick of hearing everyone complain I know it's tough and I know there's pain But hitting bottom is the only way to change So I'll keep hustling, you keep struggling Bitch, I'm humbling, keep mumbling I'll keep doubling, you keep bluffing You've got nothing, I'll keep hustling